Just when I think I've seen it all, I open my text messages and a friend of mine had sent me a video of a blackface impersonation of Kendrick Lamar, the Kendrick Lamar. And in the performance, during this impersonation, the person used the N-word and it went uncensored. Let's get into it, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Adriel. Welcome back to another episode of DEI in 5. Um, if you're new here, welcome. So excited to see you here. If you haven't already purchased a copy of the Inclusive Leadership Journal, I encourage you to do so. I'll even do you a favor, boom, you can scan this code that is right here. It'll take you directly to the link to purchase. Um, in addition, if this is your first time here and you haven't, or I guess if you're returning to, um, just to let you know, DEI and Five is now also a newsletter, a bi-weekly newsletter. So you can sign up for uh, updates delivered straight to your inbox every Tuesday and Thursday at DEI and Five.com. I'll add the link below to make it easier. But without further ado, let's get right into it. Um, this is going to be a short episode today. I am quite, I, I'm exhausted, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Um, trying to push out content on a consistent basis is exhausting. And I was going to skip today's episode. Yeah. But someone sent me a tweet to a performance and I could not go without sharing this out. So I'm going to say very little today and I'm just going to share a few things um, and let y'all react to them and just let me know what you think. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I feel like I'm on Zoom. Can you see my screen? Can everyone see my screen? Can you see it? Can you see it? No, but seriously. So someone sent me um, a link to this show today. I'm going to just play a few. For those of you that may be visually impaired, what we're seeing is a performance in front of a live audience. There's a black and white checkered background. The lead performer is wearing brown makeup and wearing a braided wig. There are tons of people in the audience clapping along in excitement. So if you are familiar, and also it says it right here, but it says Kendrick Lamar, right? So there is a show, a Polish show, and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the name because I practiced before and I could not get it right. So I'm not going to do that today. Um, but the name roughly, the name of the show roughly translates into your face sounds familiar. And in this show, they bring on a bunch of um, uh, actors, actresses, artists, etc., to perform um, as these celebrities, many of whom are American artists, many of whom are Black American artists. The performance that I just showed you is of an actor named Kuba. Again, I attempted to pronounce this person's name. I could not get it right, but this is who this person is. For those of you that may be visually impaired, Kuba is a Polish singer um, who appears to be of white descent and is not Black. So in this performance, they had to put on Black face. A year ago, um, this person, this, uh, put on a performance by The Weeknd. And again, we see blackface, which, oh my goodness. I, it looks terrifying if you ask me, but this is supposed to be The Weeknd. And to give you context of who the person is that is in blackface, it is this actress named Vicky. Who is also a white Polish singer. I'll give you another example. This is supposed to be uh, Kanye. Um, again, on the same show, your face sounds familiar. This is their, again, performance. And to give you context, this is the person that is behind this black face. His name is Tomas, and he is also a white Polish actor. Another one. This is supposed to be Beyonce. And the person behind the costume is Basia, another white Polish actress. This is supposed to be our near dear Aretha, the queen. And again, the person behind the costume is a white Polish singer named Kasia. Um, this one is actually from six years ago, same show. I had no idea this show has been around for so long. Um, this is supposed to be Rihanna. And yet again, this person is being portrayed by a white Polish actress. 
as I was going down this rabbit hole is I discovered that this show actually exists in other countries. So there's also a version of this in the Philippines. And this is from seven years ago. Again, the show is called Your Space Sounds Familiar. This is another impersonation of Beyonce. Um, oof, that makeup. My goodness. But to give you context. The actress in blackface is Denise, who is half Spanish, half Filipino. I just like, oh my goodness. And you know, okay, a few things. This is this is where my head is. And please leave comments because I, I just want to hear from people. I, I, I was scrolling through the comments. I also looked on Twitter or X. And I just saw how many people were like, oh, this is Poland. And, you know, they don't know any better. And not everything is the same as the U.S. The U.S. doesn't run in everything. You shouldn't be so focused on U.S. only. Look, in our hyper-connected society, there, to me, is no excuse. If you are going to consistently have people pretend to perform as Black American artists, especially, although I know not all of those weekend is a Canadian, Amer a Canadian artist, but if you are to have these Black artists that you are trying to perform as and embrace them and celebrate their artistry, one would think that you would do a little research, right? And the concept, the idea of Blackface isn't new to anyone. The harms of it, that's not new news to anyone. And we all have access again in this hyper-connected society. What's more is that the concept of colorism as a whole is not unique to the United States by any means. We've seen colorism throughout all areas of the world, throughout parts of Asia, uh, throughout Africa, throughout all the continents, within these various countries, within those continents as well. We've seen so many examples of it. And we continue to this day to see how the world collectively discriminates against people of darker skin tones, not just Black people specifically, but people of darker skin tones. So there's that. What also comes to mind is this constant idea that I'm talking about when I do my work in the DEI space, which is intent versus impact, right? You might have, you might be well-intentioned. Again, they may be using these shows to highlight how great these artists are and to call attention to them, but it ignores the impact. And sure, we've moved on, or at least people like to think that we've moved on from the harm that especially Black American people have endured. Um, but we have studies that show that we are carrying the trauma of our ancestors. It is baked into our DNA. Our minds are kind of hardwired and programmed to think about it. So even if I don't want to think about the harms of Blackface, as soon as I saw that video, my jaw was on the floor and I was just like, wow, we are just, as Black people, just constantly here for entertainment for people and just a joke almost and it, it frustrates me because I it's like you know pretty much all these artists that they showed I've, I've followed a lot of their journeys and understood how hard they worked in their craft and how they pushed through adversity to get where they are and to, it, it feels like a mockery almost um yeah that's all I have for today y'all I, I I yeah that's all I have Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Um, again, the show, if you want to look it up, I'll add some links below, but it's called Your Face Sounds Familiar. Uh, and it appears to be in more than one country, at least, again, that um, the, the second, the last clip I showed was from a version of it that is in the uh, Philippines through a network called ABS-CBN. So leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Um, I know the interwebs were up in arms about it today. So I'm curious to see where this goes, if it leads to anything. From what I saw, the uh, the network of the Polish version, it doesn't seem like the producers had responded. When, last I checked, hadn't responded to the situation, but whew, boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That's my auntie would say. <laughs> oh, wow. So anyways, y'all, like, subscribe, share this content. I want this to be, uh, I want this to be a conversation at the end of the day. That's what this channel is for, to spark conversation. I don't have the right answers. I don't have the wrong answers. I, I just share what I, what I come across. So let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe to DEI in five. 
uh, for newsletter updates every Tuesday and Thursday. And I will see y'all back here very soon. All right, y'all. Thanks. See you soon. Bye.